everyone welcome once again to my youtube channel this is in kiru bringing you global entertainment our today's topic is how to have maximum fun on a ski slope Woo! forget if you can ski or not forget whether you're professional or you've learned or not you just need to exercise some self-confidence and you will be able to glide your way down the ski slope ignore the expert speeding past you and simply just take it simple and easy and you make your way down the ski slope let's go find out how it works let's go put it in action let's go there skiing is the act of sliding down a snow covered mountain slope wearing a ski it is a recreational activity involving the use of skis to glide on snow. To be able to slide down the slope, one must first go up with a ski lift. There are different types of ski lifts. Woo! Let's go, baby! The first type of ski lift is the surface lift, which pulls you up while your skis glide on the snow. Surface lift is a lot of fun. I enjoy being pulled up. As much fun as it is to be pulled up, you have to be attentive to release the rope at the right time to avoid collision. Keeping a balance while sliding down a slippery slope is not so easy. As much as you try to pull yourself forward, you find yourself leaning backwards. And there's no plowing? Hmm. Still work in progress. The second type of ski lift is the magic carpet, in which you are sent through a tunnel. We are in a tunnel, tumbling upwards the mountain to slide and glide all the way down. Are you coming with me? Let's go, let's go do it. It's another brand new day. Then comes the slide downhill with three instructions taken at the back of your head to lean on your shin, to stand erect and to snow plow or make your pizza turns. Observing all three rules at the same time, it's not an easy task. The fourth type of ski lift is the cable railways which transports you in a rail car. This is me! In the mountain train, just taking a ride up the hill to slide down, 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 down. You could also decide to ignore the snow plowing and choose not to take the pizza turns and simply choose. Shusin is a long straight racy descent down the slope. I particularly find Shusin liberating and mega fun. You simply enjoy the sliding and gliding downhill without having to calculate how to make your turns. So why battle to make turns when you could just glide and slide? Another type of ski lift is the aerial lift where you are suspended off the ground. And this is me taking a ride off the hill. Woo! Let's go there and then slide all the way down. Woo! Are you excited? Because I am. See you on the way down. Just like the surface lift, the aerial lift stops for no one. You have to be attentive to jump off at the right time to avoid collision. And of course, once you have started shooting, you will always continue because it is more fun. I spent the ski vacation simply gliding around. There will be more time to learn the pizza turns, but for now, let me just enjoy my shooting. Hey, are you guys still there coming with me? Woo, let's go there, let's go! Skiing is a sport that has no age grade. It cuts across all age groups. K 
Kids enjoy skiing as much as adults. When you learn skiing as a child, it becomes part of you to glide around on the slope. Starting skiing as an adult is a scary experience. The slope is so slippery you can't stand on your feet. So, I recommend at least one ski lesson to learn how to lean on your shin to stay up and learn how to turn left and right while sliding down. Usually, the instructor first explains the skiing techniques. Then he puts it into practice by showing you how it's done. He takes you through every step. All you have to do is follow his steps and repeat after him. When he turns right, you turn right. When he turns left, you turn left. When he slides straight, you slide straight after him. While you are still with your ski instructor, you feel you have mastered it all. Then you take a lift up the slope. Once you are practicing alone, you find out that the easy turns you made with the instructor are almost impossible to achieve alone. You start leaning backwards again, the battle to pull yourself forward renews, and the balance you built with your instructor simply disappears. Of course, there are bound to be a few crashes. Believe it or not, the most difficult task is pulling yourself up after a crash. It might seem easy, but not as easy as it looks. No matter how hard the crash, just pick yourself up and keep pushing. Before you know it, you are up and gliding and ready to hop on the next lift and ride higher. Here we are in the French Alps. Not really just the French Alps. I understand that there are three countries woven in one right here. France, Switzerland, and Italy, all in one, depending on which side of the mountain you decide to slide down. Then you will decide whether you are in Switzerland, in France, or in Italy. And of course, in between riding up and sliding down, a coffee or hot wine break is absolutely necessary. There are French, Italian, and sweet cuisine. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. So, after several sliding up and down, it's time to take a coffee break. And here we are, having a coffee. Cheers! Coffee time! And it's time for a glue wine. Or as the French will call it, hot wine. Cheers, 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 cheers. Should you consume too much wine and unable to ski down, you could always take the lift back down without stress. There is always a burst of activity at the ski resort. It's a continuous cycle of people going up and sliding down. A lot of action, a lot and lots and lots of action. It never ceases. It's an endless cycle. Irrespective of the lift you choose to take, there is always a search, and you must join the queue. What more can one expect from a ski resort in the middle of three countries but the best? Thank you everyone for watching it to the end. I hope you enjoyed yourself. We will be bringing you more maximum fun. So stay tuned for more maximum fun. 